Hey guys, Helping Hands here, and I'm bringing you an amazing Tier 2 cast here. Um, 1218, pay attention to this deck play. He does a really interesting strategy, and you'll like it. Here we go. New right, we've got a 2v2 for you guys today. We have Matios playing as the Wehrmacht. And Mithril, thank you very much for 15 months. There you go, a little tip jar work in there. Whee! Thank you very much, mate. And then over here... We have 1-2-18, who's actually slightly AFK at the start of this match. Interesting. And over here, trust me, this is a good game, guys. Um, over here, we have All-Star Spanky and Anthrax. Anthrax is playing Brits, and Spanky's playing Americans. Both these guys are old-school company heroes pros. Back in the days, the original company heroes. And uh, I believe Anthrax is the old uh, clan leader. It's really nice to see some, some old vets coming back and playing the game now. Uh, this, this new update, the 1.4 update, has really kind of encouraged a lot more people to come back and play the game, which is nice to see. And the game definitely feels a lot better playing it now as well. Uh, right, what do we have here? So we've got, we have our selection here of the Italian Coastal Reserves coming out here. Then we have Motorcycle, looks like 1-2. Uh, 1-2-18. One, two. One, two, or 12-18. We'll call it 12-18. Is uh, now a wide awake and making units, which is good. Sappers go for the center point, laying some sandbags down, making it much easier for them to cap this important fuel point, the center of the map. Getting crowd busy capping up as well. Uh, this will be a bad engagement overall for these sappers, but we do have a rifleman coming in to assist against this coastal reserve squad. They're going to want to back away here. They might just jump in this house. So this is not a bad idea to jump in the house because they'll get high ground advantage against the rifleman that might be behind green cover. So backing away there is not a bad idea. Probably should have died for this important uh, church though. This, this church is, uh, you know, dominates this whole kind of center point over here. The VP, the fuel, owning this this uh, church. If you, if you get, manage to get an MG in here, really helps you out um, with controlling this center right side. And we do have a Bickers. These guys aren't fully in cover here, so I imagine they might get a bit of suppression going in. They're going to back away. Are they going to back away in time before they get suppressed? They do, just about. Getting crowd does get the cap of the missions, but is running away very quickly from the supper squad. And let's have a look at and uh, let's see what we got. Anthrax's build. He's going for two sappers at the start. What about infantry sections? Hasn't shown his commander yet. Has Spanky? Yeah, Spanky's gone for advanced infantry. Backing away. I think he's taken a casualty yet on those uh, coastal reserves. No. He's gonna get. He's gonna try and stick out and get the cap here on the missions point. Probably should be able to deny this, to be honest. And uh, Anthrax, yeah, quick to retreat off his suzy cap. He's got machine gun there now, also to cover this point, so it can't easily be retaken. Upgrades the recce package here. Ooh, MG in a good spot there. Pioneer squad might try and come around for the flank. But he can easily turn and reset up. He's also got the recce squad there ready to fend off this Pioneer. Pioneers are super squishy in Company Heroes 3. Even on the right hand side, we have double 250s out here from 1218. Let's see how he, how he plays with these. Really mechanized here. Got a motorcycle as well here. Let's just see. Is Spanky going to go for a upgrade in his base? Stickies is going for stickies. No, he's not. He's not taking stickies just yet. Yeah, Dak early game is so strong with their 250 play. Especially with the flame throw, you can get really close. On squads. Uh, I am really careful. I'm overextended right now. Oh, it's going to retreat the wrong way. Past the MG and past the infantry section. MG setting, oh, setting up the wrong way though. So this pilot is probably going to live. It's going to get around the wall. Oh no, if that machine gun was setting up the same way it was a moment ago, it would have had the wipe there on that pioneer squad. Missed opportunity there for Anthrax. It's, uh, MG is now putting in rounds against that 250. It's going to back away. Weaving around through the ruins of these buildings. Let's see, he was going. He's gone for tier one, I believe. Yep, 
as he not got the tech yet for the flat verbaling, so we'll see what he does goes for momentarily. Goes for reserves, jump in the house here. Won't. Mm, if this happens, squad had a flamethrower, do really well against coastal reserves. There's only two windows firing here against this uh, this squad here. This third window guy isn't, isn't shooting because I guess he hasn't I've got line of sight on them. But, you know, Sabers are doing pretty decent damage here. I mean, they haven't killed any guys yet. That coastal reserve squad is super low. Cheeky decap coming around the side. Well, it's not actually going to decap anything, but it's still grabbing a point. Oh, we have rages out in the field. And he look, he's lucky, very lucky here with his drop. He got two bazookas with his drop, which is the perfect drop you want when you're up against Dak with all these um, 250s. So very, very lucky. What is the chances, guys, of getting two bazookas in the airdrop? If anyone can figure out the maths there, that would be really interesting to know, the, you know how lucky he was to get that. Got the officer coming out. Oh, flamethrower in here as well, clumped up. Rocky squad. Oh, he, he's gone for the... The upgrade on the, the uh, little CWT truck. Make it an anti-aircraft gun. I so was just pushing it away there. Take up a firing position here. Ammunition point is being taken from us. There's still four of these rangers have the Thompsons. They're still going to be pretty decent in close quarters combat against infantry. Anthrax doing really well. Keeping his opponent back in his pending in his base almost right at the moment. Let's just double check to see what this is here from um, Anthrax. This is it's a CMP-15 CWT anti-air truck. We're just going to call it the anti-air truck in future. A much, much shorter name. But you don't see too many people going for this. It, you know, it's got pretty good early game like shock value here. You can get out fairly early as well. How's uh, Mateos going to deal with against this? He has gone for uh, the Jaegers, so he's upgrading a Shrek as well. Allies map control looking very nice. Let's see what kind of tech here. He got himself for a um, maybe a Bishop. Like he's going for the healing in his base. And what commander has Anthrax picked? Yet? Now he's gone for Indian artillery, which is interesting. So because he's not gone, he has gone for the mortar. And he, yeah, so he went he, instead of upgrading the med truck, he went for the um, for the anti aircraft upgrade. Normally you want to go for the healing, but I guess you can still get go a healing truck after this potentially. Got to be careful. This uh, will this truck be able to finish this truck off? It's already quite low. It's about sixty percent. Maybe it might be able to finish it off. It's gonna fire in here. Does he get it? No. The Shrek kind of misfires. That looks quick to back away there. Greyhound out in the field. Ma Greyhound. And we have a 250 Panzer Jaeger calling in. He's converted one of his 250s into a mortar half track. Do I think Rangers should have a toggle ability for their Zooks? That would make them way too strong, in my opinion. Yeah, I would not have them. I, always, I thought it was also interesting that the SSF commandos from the Americans that have, you know, were able to toggle their Shreks on and off, which is, you know, new for Company Heroes franchise in Co. 3. Those units are really good. But yeah, with Rangers, I think Rangers perform better than SSF commandos. So, you know, having them more would be too strong. Here we have the Greyhound making a dive in onto the Greyhound, getting some good shots in here, but, you know, kind of over diving too much. One more shot from the Greyhound would do it. Oh, no. Backs away. Look at time. We have here Barrage coming in here. Sapper squad getting very low. Oh, the Panzer Pioneer. Flame Thunder got a retreat. Greyhound might focus it down here on retreat. Oh, it does, but not doesn't get the kill on it. Very lucky there. It's 12-18. But yeah, Greyhound is such a good unit. And the Jaeger's pushing forward. Going to try and see if they can get some good shots in there. If they get in the house over here, they can really zone out this Greyhound. Greyhound won't be able to do anything in the center. Let's see, what's he going for now? To get himself out of Marder? Yeah, it makes sense. He needs to try and counter the Greyhound. The Jaegers aren't just going to really cut it. The Greyhound can move around a lot faster. 
But we do have, I think so maybe the first time he's using this game, he's going to be using the artillery officer's barrage here. Gets a good first barrage in here. Doesn't probably want to get the white, but we'll be careful being in the house. Gets the middle fuel back. Incred's still alive. Anti-tank gun out, out from Anthrax, expecting some more, uh, you know, bigger. I mean, he's not seen any kind of fuel investment right now from uh, from Mateos on the on, on this left-hand side, purple Vermont player. So he's, he is expecting some kind of vehicle to to show up. So good idea getting that out at this point in the game, especially as one well can come over and help his teammate as well with all these light vehicles here. Good hits in here, chasing down these pioneers on retreat. A few sections of focusing the uh, coastal reserves here. Here comes a verbal wind. It's coming out here. The only tickets are quite far away. It might make a it might make a rush. You should see it now. He's going to focus it. Yep. He's probably going to run away as quickly as possible here. He's in C picked Gurkle rifles. I mean, he's in the city. Gurkle rifles, maybe with Thompsons, could do quite well. He shouldn't really. Tr he's being greedy here. He's got just got snares, but it's not going to do that much damage. And he might really run the risk of losing his uh, infantry section here. On retreat. I think they managed to make it around the house. And the web boy doesn't look like he wants to chase. Even on the right, these rangers causing issues. Let's just, just check out Spanky over here. And he has the what? He actually has a second ranger squad. He hasn't got any upgrades on them just yet. Got himself a mortar out now. Marder. Wonder if Axe is going to do like a double team here on the right. He's put his machine gun into the 250, which is interesting. Oh, Marder gets a good shot on the Greyhound. Force that back. And he's just teched uh, snares now. He's going to be taking snares in the base. He's just sees more, more vehicles. So yeah, snares is a good buy there for... Um, the spanky, you know, set of grenades as well. Here come the Gurkhas. They are upgrading the Thompsons right now. We have infantry standing by, Commander. Oh, he's, he's going to get a flamethrower upgrade. Oh, he just killed the Pioneer squad. Pioneer squad went down. He's getting Thompsons. Oh, this is going to be a really good squad now. Oh, these guys, they're about to take Thompsons right on top of this squad here. Oh, they retreat in time. The Werbel is going to start opening up. Werbel's hit got taken a couple of hits on that anti tank gun. Man, that is a nasty Gurkha squad now with a flamethrower as well as those Thompsons, making them a perfect unit for this city fight. What a what a nice pick there. Greyhound. Oh, Grand Squad getting very low. One more shot, Greyhound. Oh, he gets the kill. Nice. We do have the Rangers as well, though. They get coming around the back and taking out Panzer Jaeger. Some great players there from Spanky. The Rangers gonna try and get on top of the um the only tangers, but the flat vermin comes in and suppresses that squad. Hans Jaeger being a bit bolder, he, think he knows he can be a bit aggressive because the Ranger squad is on retreat. And that's the only AT right now Spanky has, though the micro on this Marder is a bit slow. I'm not sure why he's got a machine gun. Wait. Is that 250? Is that machine gun set up in that 250? It looked like it is. Is that a bug? I didn't realise you could do that. Is that new or is that a bug? Because that feels like a bug. I have to try that. I thought you could put... That is weird. I need to see that in action. I need to pay attention to that in a minute. Oh, I'm smoking. He's actually got um, rapid capture he's gone for. Interesting. Don't normally go for that that quickly in the game. But he's gone for the upgrade in the armory here. Let me see if I can find it real quick for everybody. Rapid advance he's gone for. It's quite expensive at 325 manpower. He does have a lot of vehicles, so, you know, utilizing that to get some cap capturing going is going to be... He has just lost two infantry sections, uh, infantry units as well, to, um, 1218, a Panzer Grenadier and his Panzer Jaegers. Ooh, double anti-tank guns hitting the Werbelwind here. Is he quick enough to move them? Is he in range? He's still in range. 
One, two. Oh, and it goes down. Great play there from Anthrax. Neutralizing that, um, that web one. Big picks there. Let's grab that. We have, there is a second one where we're coming out to replace the one that just died. He's using the mana to blow this house up. Interesting. I guess he's just making it so the enemy, you know, the rangers can't have anywhere they can camp, which is not a bad idea, I guess. It's really much armor for it to chase down. The Ketten Crown, all oh, being a bit too bold here, trying to get in. Do some cheeky camping, but it's going to go down here. Not sure what um, Mitos was trying to do with that. M Matos. It's that big nasty round here from Anthrax from his 4.2 inch mortar. Let's see. He's now gone for the um, the tractor. Now the DAC tractor right now I feel like is probably too good. You know, it's free smoke, free artillery. Uh, both of them are on cool... Uh, don't, don't share a cooldown either. Basically provides map hacks as well, so you know exactly where your opponent's units are at. We do have, uh, was it a command bunker and a repair a med bunker going down finally from Matos. You normally would expect these a lot earlier on in the game. Normally one of your first builds getting these down to keep, keep yourself some field presence. Good drive for grenade here on top of that machine and forcing it back. But then we have the artillery officer barrage coming in and forcing this squad back. I'm not sure why this squad retreated. That was quite a healthy squad. It could have avoided the, the, the damage there. Um... Oh, I think we see some artillery coming in the center as well here. It's from the recon tractor dropping artillery here. We do have a martyr in the build as well for Atos. Double martyr is going to be opening up here onto the Greyhound. It gets very low. But there is smoke in the way. It's it's uh, blinding these anti-tankers from firing, actually. Not a bad little play there from 12-18. Uh, And another da you know, uh, you know, tractor in the build as well. Man, there's gonna be a lot of indirect fire right now for 1218. Here's a this another Ranger squad's got himself another Zook and a flamethrower here. Oh, we're getting really low health. Panzer Pioneer. The MG getting the suppression off of the nick of time there to save that Panzer Pioneer before it bites the dust. There we go, here comes. Matthias is martyr here. This should be able to get a good hit onto the Greyhound. Is Spanky paying attention? No, he's not. Slow reaction here. Might get another shot in from the martyr. Oh, but it misses. Unlucky there from Matthias. That should have gone down. Very unlucky. We do have an 8 rad now over here as well. This is a DAC one. I mean, it looks very similar to the Verbal because it has the grey skin, but it, rest assured it is the DAC one. Uh, but when getting hit by double anti tank guns again here. Or oh, the single anti tank. Look, it fired twice. Oh no, both anti tank guns are there. They're clumped up together, which is weird. Grenade coming in. Oh, we've got very low health. Um, Serpa squad retreating. Are they going to get the wipe here? Nope. I'm not sure you should be able to merge those anti tank guns like that. They seem to not have, you know, not have hard hit boxes. Healing reinforcement going up here. Got another plane coming in here. Probably another uh, weapon drop call in. Oh, yeah, he's got, uh, got another uh, Ranger squad. He's replaced one of his other rifles here. So now he's got no snares. He's gone full rifle. Uh, oh, nice incendiary round there from the mortar, bringing them quite low. Problem with going just purely Rangers with no and, and no not having any um. Rifles is that you don't have uh, snares anymore. You know, the sticky bomb snares against the vehicles if they rush in. Double flat vervelings here now. Interesting. Obviously, 1218 is doing a really interesting light vehicle strat. BP is pretty neck and neck still. Loads of smoke coming in. Obviously, these tractors are being utilized well. Beavers, thank you for the follow, buddy. Some artillery being dropped onto the uh, fishy point here. It's a decap. I 
I see the fat verbalings get some really good suppression. There's the six pounder, or rather, rather the 57 millimeter anti tank gun there from Spanky. Bringing the anti tank guns over. If they, if they can easy wipe these anti tank guns very quickly, they need vision over here. They know they should see these coming forward here. He's backing away with some of his units here. All anti tank guns clumped up together. He knows roughly where they are, so we should see some more um, off pups being dropped here through the fog of war onto these units. He knows exactly where that one is, yeah. Lobbing another good incendiary around there onto that one, but he gets away. No on map healing for either allied player at the moment. They've both gone for their own um, med tent in their bases, but they could do with some forward reinforcement. Here come the bazooka squad. Here come the. Oh, so much anti infantry vehicles here, Jesus. To be honest, all the ally really have for AT is just their anti tank guns. If they, if those anti tank guns get smoked out and, you know, 12 18 just rushes in, he would just be able to clean these up very quickly. Although we do have an hour Matilda on the field. He's using the Marta to kill this, uh, trying to kill this tank trap. Let's get down. I guess he's trying to remove any kind of green cover his opponent's infantry could use. So we're going to try to get the cap in the city. It's very low. Greyhound might finish it off. He needs to retreat it. It's Vetracy 2. You don't want to lose it. He's not paying attention. Very late retreat. That should go down. Does go down. Oh, dude, that's a painful loss, man. You want to keep your Terry officer alive because once they get Vet 3, their uh, off map is greatly increased. Good little flank here. This machine gun's getting smashed around. We do have this forward tent here built by Spanky finally. And we got this off map coming in now as well. Spanky a bit slow to, to, to react to that. Anti tank gun almost getting wiped. Is being taken he might just go for the dive here. Spanky only has that one anti tank gun. Look, here comes the, here comes the smoke push in here. Trying to blind the anti tank guns from firing. But he hasn't smoked. The, okay, now he's smoked the anti tank gun. And now he's going to be moved move forward. The tractors just blow this up. This med is probably not long for this world. It's going to get. It'll probably incendiary Morton and uh, Barrage very soon. Matos not doing so well in the north. Fresh artillery officer out. Marta coming in. Not a great position for the Marta being. He needs nice open lines of fire. Doesn't really want to be fight fighting in a city fight. More smoke in here. I mean, this, is, you know, this smoke is so annoying for uh, Spanky to deal with. And the Pioneers. I think they just bit the dust there from 1218. Yeah, he's, look, he's, he's hardly got any infantry left. He's only got one... He had to rebuild a Panzer Pioneer. He's got one machine gun. It's purely light vehicles. Here we go. Let's see what's going on in here. Anti the anti tank guns have been smoked out again. Marta getting quite low. Double anti tank folk. He's firing on it. It's, it's almost dead. But the Greyhound is super low as well. One more shot on the Greyhound. It survives as well. Oh, he's not paying attention. He loses one of his tractors. To the Ranger squad, meanwhile, on the right hand side, this other flat verbaling is pretty low. So, because there's just double flat verbaling, they get, they get pinned so goddamn quickly. Holy moly. Let's see, he has got packed of steel as well. He rushed packed of steel, so that means he can keep spamming these light vehicles to his heart's content, really. But he really needs repairs. Has he got on the, um, the automatic repair? Yeah, he's got the the automatic re repair upgrade. I mean, he kind of desperately needs that if he's going purely vehicles like this. Matilda getting super low. Could lob an AT grenade on it to get his damage engine status, but the Marlow's a bit slow behind. He's got an anti he's got building another bunker a bit further forward here. Both these anti tankers are fairly low. The bunker is still alive, surprisingly. I'd have expected so that the medical tent here. I'd expected like an incendiary round to be dropped by a mortar already on there, or, or at least bring bring over the artillery officer and drop a uh, barrage over there. Oh, good bazooka volley here. That's like four bazookas on that squad and one on there. So five bazookas in total. Almost take down this Vet 2 mortar half track. Pop smoke to get away. He's got fridge for a third flag verbaling. This is really interesting. I like this. This is off meta plays here. Oh, here come the, the weapon. It's quite low. Lots of zooks hitting it here. Super low. Let's get pinned though before he can keep firing more zooks. 
He's going to keep trying to go forward. One more Zook is needed, but he's just dropped some artillery here. Oh, some off map coming in right now. With Anthrax. There's the off air burst barrage here coming in here. Dropping some good shells here. I don't know if he got a wipe there. He might have just wiped something from Mateos. Still a lot of dead bodies there. Triple Matildas. Interesting. I mean, Matildas would be able to pen the Marders all day since they're really squishy. But the uh, Marders, if they use well, they can kite these Matildas to death. But it's a city fight, really. Marders are not built for the city kind of type, type fights. You know, lots of tight turns. And he's saying he's opening up on this new machine gun bunker in the center. It's going to go down here. Nope, he smoked it out a bit. Let's see, Spanky needs, like, like the range, just pure range of strat is not really working for him, I have to say. He needs something meatier to deal with this. Oh, there goes the Greyhound, though. He's been too aggressive. The three martyrs just smash it so quickly. This bunker's still alive. He's getting slowly repaired as well. He hasn't didn't finish it off. And Thrax infantry section, if you can force yeah, yeah. back here as well. to come in now. Most of Spanky's units have been forced back. You know, Spanky's in a really vulnerable spot right now. Oh, machine gun. Vickers just got wiped here. That was a vetted machine gun. All bunkers here. He really wants to try and lock down the victory points here. And, uh, did he ever recruit that mortar? Oh, here we go. We've got some artillery dropping here. Oh, what the hell was that? Damn, I just saw a load of guys just suddenly drop dead. I think there might have been an artillery prize that we just missed. That landed there. We do have a Hellcat. But honestly, Hellcats are so expensive compared to the Martyrs. Like, this it was one one Hellcat versus three Martyrs. And a Martyr is never going to bounce on a Hellcat. No, it's, it's pretty much almost dead. He could just rush it, he could just rush it with his vehicles right now and, and finish, even with the flat verbalings. Look, oh, no, he's, he's, he's lost his, 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 um, his mortar. His medical tent's gone down now as well. Both these anti-tankers are super low. Oh, the Zook's getting a good volley here. Drop double smoke in again. Here comes Anthrax to the rescue, coming over. Oh, the Panzer Pioneer does drop. Oh, he's coming in. How how good is 1218's micro? He's got a back away. He's getting attacked by multiple side. Here comes the Mar over there, protecting the flank. These anti tankers are super low, man. Marder dies over here at the top. The Tilda, you know, can't deal with that amount of firepower. One Marta does die there. The second one almost goes down as well. But a Marta from Matilda is a really great trade for 1218. His Marta, remember, with Pact of Steel, his Martyrs are super cheap. Oh, the more Hardtrack's got to be careful. Here come the Matildas. Good volley on them. Brings it down to half health. Needs to keep backing away here. One Marta and Shrek coming over to help now from Matios. Honestly, um, Anthrax has got to heal up these anti tank guns, man. They die. He's only got his Matildas to save him against the, the armor. And if, you know, looking too hot. We've got some, uh, some tracked RT being dropped here to hold the victory point. We have lost control over victory point. Here we go. Got a push coming in here. Marlon's opening up. Remember, the Matildas are slow as well. Marlon's can cut, you know, chase them pretty easily. What's the that? Hellcat has been fully repaired. Shrek hits the Hellcat in the back here. I wonder if he's, uh, he's, he's popping the um, penetration damage, the amount of piercing ammunition on the uh, flat verbalings here. Marty well, dropped over here. I kept that VP. One of the anti tank guns has died. Needs to recruit that. I feel like Anthrax would do very well if he, he bought himself a um, one of those trucks, the C. Where is it? I'm the wrong person on. Not seem to select. Hang on, where is it? Yeah, the seed MP. He needs to make a CMP truck and convert that into a ambulance. Oh, there goes a Marder. Bit overzealous there. Push forward. Let's get the, get, it's picked off. Three tractors. He tried to run. That was what a crazy play there. No, he just missed it. He just dived close to the base and dropped off. And he's trying try to see if he can wipe the um, the tier four tech there from from uh, from Spanky in his base. That was a really sneaky play. 
really off meta kind of plays there um and trying to do something like that is uh was really cool to see Commander, we have artillery just goes to show how strong they are man we've lost the sector to the enemy what if he's gonna do that again in a minute Need a rewind. Yeah, apologies, I missed that, guys. I'll try and catch that again in a second. I don't think he'll be repairing it anytime soon. He's not got any engineers, has he, um, Spanky? He does have the one, but he's, he's busy repairing his, uh, his Hellcats. Something Americans really struggle with as well, I've noticed, is that being, you know, being able to repair, plant mines as well. So like uh, Anthrax also coming on heavily onto his teammate side here. Here, co here comes the push for the Martyrs, but the many tankers are there. The Rangers are providing vision. They're trying to focus down. They do get down another Martyr here. They might try and focus the other units here. Off that barrage coming in onto the anti tank guns. But Anthrax is quick to, quick to pay attention to that and pull away. Bet you see three Ranger getting quite low. Only still Vet 1 there. Artillery being called in as well here. I think, yeah, that's the artillery overwatch. Anthrax is not paying, he's trying to pay attention over here. He's lost one under his tank gun. He gets re, he re okay, he has built that truck, which is great. Hopefully he upgrades that to uh, reinforcement, as, uh, yeah, a medical one as well. More drops coming in here. He's even gone for a 17 pounder. Oh, this tractor, this tractor's gonna get smashed here. But the 17 pounder, he could have shot, but there's smoke in the way, he doesn't see anything. Oh, these century rounds coming in as well. These anti tank guns have constantly got to be moving to dodge all the indirect fire. This is this is a nightmare here for Anthrax. Look how aggressive he's being. Look, honestly, this smoke is just completely denying these anti tank guns, and it's you know quite taxing to constantly be using attack ground on all different anti tank guns. Look, Matilda getting absolutely smashed. Probably going to go down here. No, oh, they dropped their own smoke. Matthias is probably going to lose, maybe lose himself another, his mother Marta here, he's not playing attention here, bunker, didn't get completed, more huge smoke coming, he's going to try and unpack the, uh, or re-pick up the 70 pounder, move it away here, Flicker's going down, meanwhile we got a big flank here from Spanky, trying to flank around the back here, looks like he, he took, maybe took out another uh, whirlwind here around the back, Report. One of our -tank guns is gone. so both anti-tank guns get wiped, Ver Flat Verbalings almost died, but they survived. But now with these both destroyed, now's a perfect time just blitz. He's just going to ignore that Matilda. Maybe just go kill these anti tankers. He's going to kill the med truck. Nice pick. They can't reinforce these anti tankers quickly. 70 pounders going to open up here, maybe, and try and get some kills. But there's so many targets for it to shoot at. It's going to take too long for it to kill, to kill them. And it also takes maybe three shots to kill one out of, you know, just one of these things down at the time with all the upgrades he's got. Misses another shot. Can't get packed up and moved now, so that's just gonna buy, die and bite, you know, go down here. Matilda getting smashed again here. Here come the martyrs as well from Matois to help out as well. Yeah, it's been smoked. It's very low. Wow, this is looking horrible right now for the Allies. What are they gonna do against this? Here comes Banky's um, Hellcats, the rescue maybe. Morati being dropped here onto the 70 pounder. 70 pounder not utilizing attack run until does die to the off map. One of the martyrs goes down. Second one might go down here. As you can see, aiming it does. Second one goes dies. Hellcats flanking it as well, trying to. Bet two. Well, went by Dusty to the grey. Uh, the Hellcats. He does manage to recruit both his anti tank guns. This opportunity there for the Axis to try and wipe them out. Could have maybe snuck a mud around the back here and picked them off and finished them off there. That would have been good. The vet one. Which is, um, Gurkhas might die here. 70 pounder gets wiped. That should go down if he focuses it. Yeah, I think that was the one with the flamethrower as well. So, comes a nice Gurkha there. He actually recruits it. Has he got anything to tow with it? He could turn that on, maybe try to kill, um, kill the Hellcats now. Axes of anything to tow that back. That would be a really nice steal for the Axes if they can pull that back. I think he can tow it. He needs to blow it up, man. If he can't... Oh, here comes the... Oh, there goes the... 
tractor again. The, 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 the tier four didn't get repaired at all still. I guess he wanted to try and go for another push round there. Any tank guns again so low. I just want to see him die of the any tank guns with the, with the three five Irvings. He can easily clean them up. But he's being quite defensive with them. He doesn't want to over overcommit or, or make any kind of plays here. So many martyrs, man. Here comes the Matilda on a flank, but... It's going to get smacked. Four Marlins are going to hit it right now. And I don't know why he's being so aggressive with it. Oh, he does get one of the um, low health squads, but the Matilda goes down. He's dropping some artillery here. The Mortar Hardtrick slow to react. Doesn't get out of there, so that dies. But, you know, Matilda for a Marlin is not worth it. Especially because it was Vet 2 as well. And he's saying guns very low. Get, just been spotted here. RT coming down to them as well. Is he going to die for them? One's killed. He's trying to chase down the next one. He should, he should try and keep pushing that. Oh, I guess he's scared about the 17-pounder. Where are the martyrs in? They're low. They need repairs, man. He needs, some, he needs to, get to make some more Panzer Pioneers for repairs to get these things back up. Here comes the tractor again. I guess he's trying to get the tractor in to drop some more artillery. Oh, that died so quickly. Holy moly. This, this, um, this squad here has like five bazookas, man. No, full bazookas and yeah, this is a fully upgraded ranger squad. Like full weapons on that. This is a absolute chat of a squad right now. Going, they don't care about. They do not care about that yet. That Jaeger squad. With this, oh the anti tank, the anti air half trick finally bites the dust. But not going to be a good trade here for Matois. He's going to lose a verbal win for that kill. Spanky coming over there to get some revenge, or rather to avenge the the death of that uh, that truck. I was curious he made the 8-rad with these flat vervelings as well. There's so much anti-infantry there. Is he going to get an anti-tank? That, that, okay, that bunker was getting built. Another off-map coming in. This is um, Overwatch here from Matois. He's just applied just an Overwatch on the bunkers. Oh, the sapper buys the dust! It was slightly in the, uh, in the circumference then. He's rebuilt another truck here to get the recruits going in here. RC coming in here. What's that coming in from Anthrax? He's dropped a perimeter. On the perimeter. So any enemy units in, in the uh, friendly areas will get hit. One flat only goes out. The second one almost bites the dust here. We have a bulldozer Sherman. It's way too aggressive there. Gets absolutely murdered. I don't know why that was doing there on its own. It was fighting up an anti-tank bunker and three murders. Some more off map being dropped here by the tractors here. And it drops so quickly. You just you have literally have no time to to pack it up and move it. You just have to take tank the rounds here. Obviously, the tractors are really good counters to 17 pounders if you can get cl close enough without being shot. They finally take out one of the one of Anthrax's anti-tank guns. Oh, and the truck was just spotted as well, so you're not gonna be easy to be able to move the 17 pounders. He's actually got a second 17 pounder. So that truck was from the second call in of the 17 pounder. He's opening up here. I think he might be trying to use the high explosive rounds here. But one 70 pounder bites the dust. The second one's about to go down as well. Now would be a perfect time to move the Marlins in to wipe these empty tank guns so they can't get. They can't recruit them anymore. He's going in. He's got a good chance to get if the flank. He does get the flank in. Come on, Marlins. Get in there and blow the empty tank gun up while you've got a chance. There's a, there's a one little six pounder. The hiccup the Hellcats, though. They're trying to push in. Just to stop, stop the, the Marlis going in for the wipe on those 17 pounders. This bunker wasn't completed. It wasn't cancelled as well by, um, by Matos, so he lost some, some resources there. He did go for the. Um, what did he go for his commander choice? I can't really tell here. Okay, he went for. Went for Coastal. So his bunkers are going to be quite quick and cheap to build. Oh, 70 pounds of steel decrewed. More artillery being dropped here. It's not even, he's not even tech tier 4. He doesn't need a tech tier 4 with this build, man. It's such a good um, kind of build right now from 12-18. Uh, he's got a really good strategy down. He just needs to be taking those opportunities when they present themselves a bit more, right? There we go. He's found an opportunity now to take out one of the 17 pounders. Tractor getting really low. Is he going to get away? Looks like it will just about. He's lost vision on that 17-pounder. Here comes some artillery. Let's dodge it. 
but you know he he kind of moves his whole army back and he's kind of got all of his units on control he's actually pushing them back into the artillery he might lose one of the martyrs here he does take the 17 pounder out but yeah he definitely's got them on like two different control groups and he needs to be a bit more um individually micro them out, i think here to, to get some more benefits out of you know his his numbers Goes rotating in the, the healthy ones for the weak ones. Marder. Sound like he just blew up somewhere. Oh, look. He came around the back with his bazooka squad. Spanky takes out one of the... Um, one of the Marders. But, you know, they trade blows there. Looks like the flat verbaling just went down. But another Hellcat dies. But that's a great trade for 1218. They're cheap to replace. And the Hellcats aren't. Look at the Hellcat here. If we can just quickly compare this real quick. Look at Spanky's base. Uh, if it lets me... It's Hellcats at 70 fuel and 320 manpower to replace. Right. We'll check, just check the, the, the cost of the other units here in a second. But they now take the other 17 pounder bites to dust here. So both 70 pounders got a huge loss there for Anthrax. Didn't really get much utility out of them. They, think they, they might have only got maybe one kill between them. There's a little break in the fighting here. We can just check over here. The Marders are already 21 fuel, you know? They're uh, they're three times as cheap in terms of fuel. Compared to, like, uh, to, to a Hellcat. And they're also, you know, cheaper in manpower as well. So, you know, that, that, that trade you're getting is so good. Let's see. I want to see... Um, 1218 has got such a great force right now. He needs to be more aggressive. He's just... He's playing for the... V I mean, the VPs are still really close with neck and neck victory point controls. So both players, both teams are doing really well. I think Matoyes is... You know, needs to... There's a bazooka on the ground that he could recruit. That is an anti-tank bunker. I think he wanted to build there, but stopped building it. Yeah, we've got two Hellcats maybe wanting to go for a flank on the side here. But this will be spotted due to the tractors, I imagine, wherever they are. Where are the tractors at? They're over there. It might be too far away actually to spot these guys coming around. You need to get one maybe a bit closer behind this uh, this destroyed church. Also, this Jaeger squad going to drop a flare in the sky here. There is a um, an ammo structure there that could get blown up. Here we go. Hellcats find an opportunity here. But that one dies. Too many miles. Boosh. Oh, dude, man. These Hellcats just can't really do anything. They, they need three shots to kill one of these flat vermelings. And they just get absolutely just smashed themselves. So Spanky just... Another one lost, but for nothing. No trade there. No, no, no good trade there at all. Another anti, um, artillery overwatch being dropped here. Another one of Spanky's Hellcats. I'm not sure what Mato's doing with that, that, that micro there. Not great. I feel like... Um, I tell you, I should, should skip Marders now and go, go for Panzer Fours, really. Especially with the city fight. Oh, the house dies and the unit dies inside as well. One of the verbal ones very low. Although that Matilda is looking low as well. Marlos is going to push it here. And use, maybe use attack ground through the smoke here. He's trying, but inaccurate. Doesn't know exactly where it is. Six pounder covering the retreat. Another coastal reserves being called in to replace the one that just went down. He hasn't replaced his artillery officer. Has he got one? Yeah, he lost his artillery officer. He needs to keep that alive. Alcat finding a good flanking opportunity here to take out this anti tank bunker. Where are the Marders? They're sleeping here. There's still that bazooka on the ground. He needs to pick that up with his uh, coastal reserves, I think, or maybe the Jaeger squad. Increases AT capability against these anti these vehicles here. This Matilda's still really low. Got not getting repaid. He's going to repair the fight here. Mistake there from Anthrax. Can't afford to lose his vet. This is another one of his vetted uh, sappers he loses here. I think he's out of sappers now, isn't he? Oh, he's still got low. He's been rebuilding them. Okay, good. But, you know. Sucks to lose the vegetable. Oh, no, he's dropped the artillery. He does get the kill on the tank depot with the tractor. He loses one tractor for it, but, the but he does get the wipe there. I think he might have lost maybe two of them for that, actually. But that's going to really hurt. Spanky can't get himself any more Hellcats here. 
And that's maybe a good trade to get that. He's just a rebuild that's really expensive in terms of manpower and stuff. He's gonna have to we need to use more fuel as well to build it. Oh, this flat verbaling. I'm not sure what he's doing with the flat verbaling. He's being way too greedy with that. He's gonna lose the veteran C3 here for no reason. Not sure why he did that. Maybe he wants to tech up. He's throwing because he's population capped here. He's not population capped, so I don't know why he just threw that. Maybe it's a misplay there. Matois has has thrown in the towel. He's he's let he's uh given up for some reason. Oh no! And this tractor dies as well. Oh, I don't, this is unfortunate here for 12-18. He's been playing fairly well this game, and his teammate maybe lost connection or. Twelve eighteens. I think army is just vehicles, right? He's got no infantry. This is unheard of. Not having an army full of vehicles and no infantry at all. Oh, it was a bug splat. Ah, oh, damn, that sucks, man. Can the AI do well here? The AI's pushing it. Gets a wipe at one of the only tank guns. Uh, Marlins are... Don't know what the Marlins are doing, but they're all, all over the place here. Oh, man, the AI is so bad. So, 12-18 having to make a play. He knows he, you know, he can't really rely on this AI, so he's diving in here. Oh, the Matilda's getting smashed here. This should go down. He needs to attack around through the smoke. Is he going to do it? Turn and shoot. Attack around now. He's not doing it. Why is there no attack rounds coming through from 1218? He's going to get the kill anyway here. He should do. There goes the Vetra C. I think it was three Matilda. The 4.2 inch mortar is going to get smashed as well. The ammo thing goes down. He's probably going to blow that up maybe. Look at this play here. He's just going... He, oh, he's going to try and focus down the um, the Hellcats. Oh, they, they get really low. But they spread their fire, so one of them could have died then. He's going to keep going here. Oh, he missed him with one shot. Is he just going to dive into the base? He might be able to do this, though, with the amount of verbal wins here. He could just keep going and maybe get the kills on these. He's, he's got no way to repair these right now. And the, and the Marders are coming over as well from the AI, surprisingly. He's going to hide in the corner of his base. Maybe he just needs to dive right in the base and try and wipe all the infantry right now from 12-18. Can he do it? This would be a good play, actually. He's got so much firepower here. The Rangers will be, so, you'll be pinned so quickly. Yeah, there you go. One's pinned. Oh, this is a nightmare right now for Spanky. The, 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 the Hellcats are cowering in fit. They kind of need to make it, push out a little bit and help these Rangers. He can't afford to lose his Rangers. Red bug going down. Anthrax, is he going to be able to help at all? No. He's got a couple of healthy martyrs in there they can get in. He's just, just, he should go for the base white man. Can he do it? Just take Spanky out of the game. No, he's not. He could go for it. He does not know. 1218 does not know how close he is to completely wiping Spanky out of the game here. But not, you know, you know, sealing the deal here. And, and you know, he could have finished those mana, those, those Hellcats easy. They've got nowhere to go. Oh, Veteran C3 Jaeger squad gets down by a nice little gamma bomb from the Footman Guards. And we're going to see another unit probably go down here on the squad. This Bazooka's still here, not been picked up. Oh no, now these Zooks here. He's dropping some Marty here. One of them squads being suppressed here. Gonna force them back. He needs repairs. He might go in now. Is he gonna go in now? The Rangers have been forced back. Maybe one might want to go in now. He's got to finish off Spanky. He needs to take him out of the game. Another verbal. Yeah, he can bring this in as well. Another Ranger squad? Oh no. Being, he needs to be leading with the Mar Marders. With the, with the push here, they're kind of a bit far behind. Oh, all these mothers are going to go down to the Zooks. Oh, he's not a, re not a really good, well-coordinated push here. Unfortunately, he's throwing away some units here. Spanky trying his best. Might try to use some attack rounds here. Oh, nice attack round there. Second one missed, unfortunately. 12-18, just not... I don't think 12-18 knows how to attack ground. If he does, he would be winning these fights much easier. Oh, another one dies. You might see one of the, um... One of these go down here. One... Oh, it missed! The shot, the second shot missed! Oh no! It's all going wrong right now for 12-18. 
Oh, man! Yeah, his micro is failing him right now. He's kind of like blobbing this whole unit forward without really any proper control, which is a shame. Yeah, it just feels like he's A-moving the whole blob around of vehicles. And if he kind of individually microed them, he'd be doing a lot better. He's also noticing he's never like reversing his flat vervelings into the fight. When you should be reversing him into the fight since they'll be able to fire faster, since their gun's already facing behind them. He's going to lose this, uh, this tractor here. Tractor's going to go down. Hellcat misses an attack ground shot. Spanky should chase. The Hellcat getting repaired. Should get it here. No, it missed again. Oh my god. Got some more RT being killed in here. I really feel, you know, now there's AI on, on the team here. I feel really bad here for 1218 because the AI is just so bad. I mean, you can look at. Matos' units now. He's probably got nothing left. Yeah, he's got nothing left. Man. The AO just throws everything away. Makes makes a, a game untenable. When will we get the reconnect feature, guys? In Company Heroes 3, will we ever get a reconnect feature? I think it's just too much now. VPs and Flex doing a good job to concentrate around the VPs and exploiting the weakness of the AI. He's Hellcats. He's getting a forward reinforcement point here. Arnas, man. They can take so much punishment. Oh, the amount of Zooks. Oh, dude. Anthrax gone for three footman's guards now. He's replaced all his infantry sections with guards. All he's got, he's just decided, you know what? I don't care about Matildas anymore. I'm going for, I'm for, going for guards. I mean, yeah, guards are going to be, you know, guards and the rangers are going to be great against things like the martyrs, but not so, you know, these fat verbalings do very well because they pretty much instantly uh, suppress and then very shortly after that, pin the squad. Kind of neutralizes them. And I also think like Matois could have done well if he went for maybe for a Nebelwerf of this game as well, maybe. Against all the elite infantry, against all the support weapons. Um, you know, Panzer Fours in the city would have been better as well, rather than Martyrs. Would have been, you know, especially, you know, because the Martyrs, so the Panzer Four could do the same thing that a Whirlwind and a Martyr can do, and that's kill infantry and tanks. Oh, getting very low there. Oh, RT dropping on this squad here. Is he paying attention? He is. He's getting out of the time. He's capping with the 250. That's a fresh 250 he's built for some reason. So unless he's called on a squad. What did he call on just now? He must have called on something. No? Is that a, f a completely fresh 250 just for capping? I don't see any... Mm, you see, man, the, the, they're getting suppressed. You just keep... If you, you can just kite them and kill them at range unless... You know, you got to kite in and out here, which is which is what 1218 isn't doing. He's not really backing away low health squads for weak. One more shot for the Vet 3. Will he get it? No, got some more artillery coming in here. So he just, yeah, throwing away more vehicles here. He doesn't need these tractors to be this close to be able to drop these artillery rounds in here. Oh, here we go. I feel like Chaffee Spam would be better than Hellcats, to be honest. They counter spam with spam. Still not really built himself an anti tank gun this game. Uh oh, Marders are pushing in. They might get ready to get a pick here still. Oh, but they missed both their rounds. Unlucky there. If they hit this one, they would have probably killed it. They're going to back up. He's got a third one. Oh, Spanky being a bit too aggressive here. Oh. It goes another one. Oh, the Vetra C3. Oh, here comes a... No, no bazookas on that one. But it's a triple flamethrower. I think... No, is it triple? No, double, sorry. Double flamethrower. Ranger squad over there. 29 victory points remaining. Oh, 18 doing the best he can. 
You just can't hold this victory point and this one over here when the AI is just so garbage. Zooks here and he does get the pin on that squad. This Hellcat wants the kill on the veteran. See two Furling hits the other one instead. He did rebuild his tier four after all. Yeah, honestly, yeah, 1218 Chesanya should attack ground. Yeah, he had plenty of opportunities this game to use attack ground, and he's just not doing that the entire time. He would have played so much better. If he used attack ground through smoke and stuff, he would have been able to take out a lot more vehicles. You know, um, smoke so the rangers can't easily hit him, and then attack ground with the verbaling here. He's dropping in here. Easy to nine the decap here. Marder's making a play on the on the Vision C3. They're all prepared and healed up. They're going in for the, the, the kill over there. There's another there's another one on the left, a fresh one, but it's gonna get triple smashed. Yeah, you see how ineffective just Hellpacks are against the, the Marders. You can get like two Marders out for the cost of white almost one uh, one of these um Hellcats. So cost effective and quite tanky for what they are. They come the footman guards trying to make a play here. RT coming in. I kind of feel like 1218 would have done well if he went for maybe for like a um a Stug D that game against all the against all the guards as well. Like he didn't go for anything that could actually take a couple of Zook shells. Uh, a Stug is much better at trying to, you know, the uh, much higher chance guys of bouncing Zooks and things like that. And he kept on going for light vehicles. Uh, which we shouldn't which compare it, but that was a, that was a fun game to watch. It was really interesting to see um, twelve eighteen deploy a you know, really strong strategy there. Just really go vehicles, but he just needs to work on his micro. Um, I think yeah, he just kept on like a moving. You know, a lot of the blobs, and you know, if you utilize attack ground, he'd, he'd, he'd play a lot better. But good strategy, um, very difficult to deal with. Um, and I don't, I, I you know, even though the allies did win that. Partly because I think Mat 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 uh, Matthias had to, uh, uh, unfortunately, desync to a bug splat, so he got kicked out of the game, couldn't rejoin, and it just lost the side. Um, but also because I felt like, yeah, the the infantry wasn't wiped. Like there was a really there was a moment in that game where a twelve eighteen could have finished Spanky off. The, the two Hellcats were like one shot each from dying in the base. The infantry was like really there's like low health ranges in the base as well that could have just been swarmed with by like three uh, like two flat verblings in the rad and he just didn't go for the kill he was scared about his flank he was worried that anthrax probably would have come in and flanked him but anthrax was nowhere near to be found actually he was too busy he had not got any vehicles that left at that point he just went footmans and they were too busy on the other side of the map um but yeah this is it's a you know, prime example of this game of you know pr you know trying to multitask with mo lots of different vehicles and i think he'd play a lot better I kind of want to, next time I play that, I'm going to try and see if I can copy that strategy because it seemed really good. Um, yeah, just like Marders and Flat Verblings. And then, like, maybe a Shug D in the mix if they go for heavy infantry, lots of elite infantry. I'm just trying to think, like, yeah, what else? Like, you don't want to go to go tier 4, what does tier 4 offer? You get the Panzer 3, the Stuka, and the 88. You don't need that. You don't need an 88 when you've got Marders that are cheaper. Um,. And you can deal with all, you know, the, the only real threat for Marders is Zooks and anti-tank guns. The tractors deal with the anti-tank guns. Right, they dealt with them very well, that game. The 270 pounders literally did nothing. The 6 pounders eventually died off and, you know, didn't do too much. Um, but yeah, I think uh, just as long as you deal with the Zooks, I think if, you know, you figure out a way to deal with the Zooks, like the Flat Vervings get the suppression in, things like that, you do really well. Um, and also, yeah, I think... Anthrax going the Matildas. Like, yeah, I don't know if the Matildas got super value either. I think maybe Bishops. He didn't get any Bishops that game. I've been using Bishops to really, you know, that, that you know, some nice solid indirect fire maybe, you know, helping on the right-hand side to hit those, uh, you know, if they hit the uh, Mullers, those would do some decent damage. Great against all the Bunker spam. Um, you know, and then maybe like a little, you know, Crusader or something, just running around the city to just to fend off any infantry that try and go for capping probably would have been better. Uh, for Anthrax. I mean, Footman Guards late game, yeah, that was alright, but again, like, it's kind of, if you just pure, both players late game just went pure Rangers and Footman Guards, and that's kind of easily dealt with if you know what you're doing. But, the, you know, Axis didn't really deal with it super well, unfortunately. But yeah. That was a fun, that was a fun one, man. That was interesting. Different different strats there. Hopefully you guys maybe learned something. You maybe see see how powerful Dak is 
uh, in this game right now. I saw someone comment on my u recent YouTube video saying that, oh, Dak feels really underpowered at the moment. How do I play them? Just copy that, man. That was so great. So, guys, that's the end of the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did and want more content, check up over here and over here. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, make sure to click the button down here. Catch you in the next video, guys. Take care, and I'll see you soon.